Hey friends, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play All Along the Watchtower as recorded by Jimi Hendrix on guitar. Now this song has some amazing guitar work in it. It was actually originally written by Bob Dylan, but I'm going to break down a main rhythm guitar part plus the opening solo to Jimi Hendrix's version, and you only need three chords to play. It. But real quick, before we dive into it, if you're new to the channel, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to map out the entire fretboard. And this is what I visualize when I look down at the guitar neck, and it basically shows you how to connect you know, your pentatonic scales and your major and minor scales all together with the chords. So when you want to start soloing or you want to play tunes like all along the watchtower, you know how to approach it. So you can grab this PDF completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below. Made it easy for you there. So hope you enjoy that as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so the first thing you want to make sure you do is tune down a half step, and Jimi Hendrix would play with his guitar tuned to E flat standard. So instead of E, A, D, G, B, E, everything would be flat. So E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. So once you've tuned down a half step, then I'm going to be calling out these chords just like the guitar chords here. So we're going to be in the key of E, but it's really E flat concert pitch. So there's three chords. Here's what we're going to play for the main rhythm part. So we've just got this kind of roundabout chord progression that just loops around. We're going to use three chords. The first one is a B chord. And we're going to play this on the second fret here, starting on the fifth string. Two, then four, four, four. Now I oftentimes will mute the high E and then I'm muting the low E string as well. So I've just got those middle strings there of the guitar. Now we're gonna move from a B up to this C sharp minor seven chord. And this is played starting on the fourth fret of the fifth string. We're gonna go four, then six, four, five, and you can bar all the way if you want to the fourth fret there on the first string. So we've got a B. We've got a C sharp minor 7. And the third chord you need to know is just A. And here I'm playing this just in open position. I've got the open fifth string, then the second fret, second fret, second fret. Again, I'm muting the high E and not playing the low E either. So those are our three chords. Now we're going to put them into this rhythm that actually starts on a pickup. We're going to count one, two, and three. So that's basically it there, and then it starts again. We're starting on the and of three on that B chord. We're going to go one, two, and three, and four. We're going to do two strums on that B chord, then we'll move up to C sharp minor and do four strums like this. And we'll rest after that. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Then we're gonna move down again to the B chord. We'll come in on the and of three and do the same rhythm, but instead of going to C sharp minor seven, this time we'll go down to the A like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Then it restarts. So we've got one time, you know, B going up to C sharp minor seven, then the second time B going down to A, and then just circle it around. One, two, and three. So that's our chord progression, and of course, Hendrix would do a ton with just these three chords. He would play a lot of cool embellishments on them and do things like here where you've got the C sharp minor seven, he'll go, you know, do a little hammer pull-offs.
but the basic progression is just those three chords. From there, we've got this awesome solo that comes in. We're gonna slide all the way up to the 13th fret, and here we're gonna play this lead. So I'm on the third string and I'm sliding up to 13. Then grab 12 on the second string. Then 14, we're gonna bend it up a whole step. We're gonna do four bends, so one, two, three, four, okay? I'm bending it up, kind of bringing it down, then bending it up again. Then I hold it, I pluck it again, and then drop it back down. Okay, and then I play the 12th fret there, so. Then we finish like this. So that's sliding into 13 on the third string, then to 11. And I've got ba, 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 one, two, three, three plucks there on the 11th fret. So all together, this first part goes. Then of course, Hendrix had this amazing, just floating, kind of psychedelic sounding vibrato. Then we're gonna shift down to a very common minor pentatonic box here, but Hendrix does this really cool twist. He changes just one note or adds one note to the scale that is really awesome. Check it out. So did you catch it there? Let me break it down. Here he's playing the 11th fret, sliding into it on the fourth string then nine on the third string. Then you go up to 11 and you do this little thing where you're like back and forth between bending the note natural and then, you know, just playing around with that. It's really great practice for your bending. So we're gonna play 11, then bend it up a whole step, then bring it back down, then bend it up a whole step again. And you can kind of rest in between. So it's not like, like where it's kind of all ringing out. It's, so it takes a lot of control there. Then again, once we're bent up, we're gonna pluck it again, release it back down. Then play nine, then 11 on the fourth string. So. Then here's the twist. Love this part here. So this is nine. What you wanna do is I actually grab the second and the third strings together, but I just play the second string. We're gonna do a hammer from nine to, and then pull off to 11. Then nine on the third string, then bend 12. Then we bend it again and we kind of fall off. So it sounds like this. So all together, kind of the second part that's more out of the ninth position sounds like this. All right, so I'm gonna put it all together now. I'm gonna play a little bit of rhythm at the top and then we'll go into that lead part. Here's what it sounds like. So have fun working on this song. Start off with the rhythm, then dive into the lead stuff. And to help you put it together even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide. And this is the exact system that so many great players use. And it shows you how to tie together the chords and the scales. So whether you're doing like a Hendrix rhythm part and you're looking for other notes to play cool embellishments for, you're gonna use this, or you're just taking a full out single note line 
flying solo, you're gonna use this. So grab it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below. Hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and we'll see you in another video real soon.